What's up, YouTube? So, we're filming in the bathroom today because we need some special tools. We need parchment paper, like two, three grams of key, and wait for it. Wait for it. I gotta find it. Na, 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 your girlfriend's hair straightener. We're gonna be making live resin. Woo! So, I've literally been waiting to fill this thing up. I just, you can see the weed towering over the top of the lid. I mean, Keith, not weed. And I'm going to plug this in. Now, it's very important that you definitely get this right. You have to, have to, have to put it on the lowest setting. Otherwise, you'll just smoke your weed. You basically smoke it with this, literally. You won't let it bleed out the live resin. So, we're going to plug this baby in. Get this going. Put it on one. Numero uno! Okay. But since we're in the bathroom, I have to piss, so hold on. Now, when you're making live resin, it's really, really, really important to make sure that you have the kind of weed you want to use. Now, I don't like smoking sativa because it gives me anxiety. Like, crazy! So, I make sure that most of this keef is indica keef. Alrighty, we'll wash our hands. Cause we're not nomads here. Neanderthals. Okay, so. She's kind of warm. I'm gonna lock the dog out so he doesn't cause a fire. We're gonna cut our paper. So, I have this idea in my head. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Now, it's really, really important. No, I'm just kidding. It's not important how you cut your paper. Make sure that your weed gets in your wax paper. This also works with nugs, too, by the way. See? You just cut it like that. So. And then I kind of want to just fold this in half. Alrighty, so it's hot dog style. Like hot dog bun. So my idea is to just like kind of line this whole crease with teeth. And then just take it and just like, I don't know, we're going to try it. So, like I said, I've only done this with nugs. I haven't done this with just Keef, but first time for everything. Okay, so here's what we're going to be pressing for the first time. Right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. All right. So, this thing's on, I'm going to fold this in half, and I'm going to let the key fall, alrighty. Oh, I burned myself, woo! Okay, so, I'm going to just lay it down. Try to slowly pull it through like this. Oh, it's gooey. Oh, I can see the goo just coming out. Okay, safely stand this up. Let's flip it around, peel it open for you guys. Okay, so I think I have to ball up the keef closer, but you can definitely see like the sticky resin there. So, let me take my scissors. And let's get this keef all balled up.
Alrighty, so there's another pile of keys. Let's try this again. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks dank. That kind of looks like baby poop. I don't know if you guys can see around the pile there, but that's all live resin. I'm trying to scrape some up. Let me grab the dab tool from over here. One second. Okay, so I grabbed a puck and a dab tool. Let's try and collect some and see if this is worth it. I guess you could probably smoke that Keith. I doubt that we pulled every bit of THC out of there, but. Oh, it's collecting. Look at that. just all dabs right there so I'm gonna go grab my dab rig and we're gonna try a dab of this stuff hang on we're doing science Alrighty, so I'm kind of excited for this. Like I said, I've done this with a nug before. I'm gonna turn it off. This, actually, no, we're gonna leave this on because no, I should probably turn it off. Okay. Like I said, there's our dab, and I'm excited for this. This looks really, really dank, and it smells really good too. And look at, we still have a shit ton of keef left. And they sell grams of keef at the dispensary for $10, so. And they also sell kits to do, really do this. They sell micron bags. It's like a little tiny tea bag with tinier holes. You pack all your keef in there, and then you buy a press, and you press it with a hot thing. It's basically like this, and you don't have to use your muscles to squeeze the bud. It's got like a hydraulic or hydrostatic whatever kind of press. So, this is what the keef looks like now, if you guys can't see, it's this really thin, like, pancake. And then, this is what came out of it. But, alright guys. Hopefully there's not a bunch of keef in this, hopefully it's just all wax and doesn't get this dirty. Well, I think I melted all the oil, and that's just the leftover key. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe you need to press.
question mark. other stuff yeah there's there's a lot of keef left in the actual dabs so what I'm gonna do is collect it all and then try to squeeze it out again and see if the residual powder from the keef won't stay collected and if the sap won't just come out on its own. got from the rest of that I'm gonna take it and just put it right back in that little pancake and now that it's not a powder form I bet you we're not gonna have like a blowout of keef inside of the resin it's kind of like a little pellet now now let's try it so, I forgot, is this on? Yep, she's on and hot. There's our pellet, I'm gonna put it back in there. You can kind of see it in there. Oh, I can see it oozing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like, yeah! Hopefully that's what we're looking for. Okay, that is soupy and a lot less poopy. Chunks out. So, we're still left with a little bit of a pancake, but for the most part, that's what we got. So just because I've already got this out, I'm going to press a nug for you guys, and we're going to see what a nug looks like. So I'm going to go get a nug. So here we've got the ghost train haze, right there. I'm gonna stick it on our other side so it's a good comparison. Let me maneuver some stuff here. Really got a tiny workspace. Okay. And that's just one nug. That's probably like a third of a gram. So let's go ahead and squeeze it. And this stuff, you'll see the difference. <clears throat> so. 
so it might be harder to see because it's really clear, but I'm going to put it right next to it. So there's a little bit of oil residue there. That is straight dabs. This is not the best way to get re or to get dabs. But if you don't want to go buy some and you have weed, Keith, that's how you make dabs.